So starting the test drive in this GLS 63 AMG, my goodness, just an incredible sound from the exhaust. Great power output. I mean, you have a 5.5 liter bi-turbo V8. It's fast, it's gonna be fast. Love the shifts as well. Just a, a crazy sound from this exhaust. Again, for this to be a, a larger SUV, and I love how the manual mode gives you full control. I mean, it tells you when to shift up, but that's really up to you. Just so fast. I'm gonna put in the automatic mode now, dial in the comfort, and then we're gonna test out this cruise control. So I like that you have so many settings for, I have the lane keeping assist system on now, but I love that you have down there different settings that you can adjust the gap. It's not just three settings like in most vehicles. You have like 120 feet, 100, 100 feet, 80 feet, all of that. So very, very particular in terms of just how much distance you wanna leave between the vehicle in front of you and yourself. You could even go all the way up to 300, it's just so many, or 200, so many different settings. But ride quality is pretty good. Of course, with these 22s, I can feel more on the steering wheel than I can through the vehicle. But ride quality is pretty good. But just love how fast this thing is. It's just so much fun to drive. Now, I wouldn't doubt this vehicle was mid six figures when it first came out and it shows, I mean, you just get so much for this amount of money in terms of power, I guess. And when I say so much for this amount of money, you get a lot for a lot of money. So let's just put it that way. But just the menacing sound from this vehicle with it being a 5.5 bi-turbo V8 from AMG, just impressive. And still fantastic ride quality. If you were to take this on a long cruise or even on this road here, it's just, it's comfortable. And we do have heated cooled seats, pretty adjustable seats. So having all that definitely helps. But it's a cool SUV, especially if you have to get a, a soccer mom car, but you want it to be just nasty. This is the way to do it. And you could probably get a similarly equipped Yukon or Escalade, save a little bit of money, have more room, but this, this does the part for what it's made for. Because I'm sure this would definitely smoke either one of those from a stop. And it just has that Mercedes Benz feel, that Mercedes Benz look, that AMG performance, you can't beat that. And I think this one will be priced a little under 60,000. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested in something like this, but even with 65,000 miles on it, Mercedes has come a long way in terms of reliability. It used to be if it had any more than 40,000 miles, just keep away from it. But especially as these cars are serviced more, they're serviced better, and they have more reliable parts than they used to, You'll see some of these hit 150, 170,000 miles. And when they start to really be cheap is when, kind of like Range Rovers, the suspensions are starting to go out and that's expensive to fix. A lot of people wanna stay away from them, specifically the turbos. But I mean, in my opinion, if you can afford it, it's worth it. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this pre-owned 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLS 63 AMG.